Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a quick review of the J21A1, uh, the Swedish uh, 3.0 uh, plane, fighter. I really love and hate this plane at the same time. This plane overheats really quickly. It doesn't like to dive that much, just like a yak. Once you pass 700 uh, kilometers per hour, your wings are going to rip. Uh, the good thing about it, it has a decent roll rate, decent, uh, decent energy fighting capabilities, and a shit ton of guns. This thing gets four 13.2 millimeter guns with an additional 20 millimeter gun. So this plane can head on effectively and can wipe out other enemy planes effectively. You don't need a lot of, uh, like gun time or uh, spray time or whatever you want to call it on the plane I engage an LA-5 nice pilot snipe LA-5s are not that protected I think unless they unlock that modification which gives them the extra bulletproof glass on their cockpit yeah extremely easy pilot snipe the Act 9 diving down on me gets distracted by the KI-61 thank god because I cannot afford to uh, fight a Yak 9 T with an I-185 close to it. And now I'm pri prioritizing this 185 and the uh, friendly Yak 3 stalls him out perfectly. I think he was trying to do a hammerhead on him but he presented me with a nice bait. I could not turn that down. Now, assessing the situation of the battle, I have an LA-5 behind me, a Yak-90 below me, and my plane is overheating like crazy even though that this is a snow map, this is a, an extremely cold map. I'm trying to think, trying to uh, do my best decision in here, they still have a lot of uh, planes left, so I try to engage this LA-5 and try to keep my energy in check, remember? This thing doesn't like to dive. Go directly down on him. I uh, believe that I missed my first engagement on him, but yeah. I think I'm going to get him eventually. And that's the rip speed. Cannot even reach 700 kph without uh, prompting me to uh, lower my speed. Now, the uh, friendly P-51 is on the LA-5's uh, tail. So I need to prioritize the guy that on his on his tail, which is the Yak 90. I completely butcher my engagement with that terrible aim of mine. The Yak 90 is stalled out. The LA5 is too. I turn around really quick as uh, because I still have energy. Easy, quick kill on the uh, Yak 90 with a pilot snipe. Now trying to dogfight this LA5 and. He turns out to be a really good dogfighter. He knows how to manage his energy. While I was in the battle, I could hear him uh, like throttling down because you can hear the uh, plane's engine when it throttles down. I completely mess up a perfectly good shot. A Yak 9 in the distance and a Desma engages me and I survive. Now, I did not, did not expect that Desma, he... Uh, well, let's just say that he contributed to my death in this match because, yeah, you'll see. I try to get the uh, LA-5. My plane is uh, badly damaged. Get him. Ex extremely good guns, man. I don't believe that these guns do that amount of damage. This much tries to engage me. I dodge his engagement last second. I turn for him and boom. Just like that. He's set on fire. My friendly is trying to steal my kill. PS4 player. I'm sorry PS4 players, but some of y'all, man, greedy as hell. That's why he got shut down. But yeah, I killed it this month. Five kill game. End up losing because of the single sole reason that this plane does not like overheating. If you overheat in this plane, it will cook its engine extremely fast. And yeah, that will cost me the plane. 
Now, if I stayed, maybe I could have gotten two kills, maybe a, another kill, help my team uh, win the match, but this plane just gave up, gave up on me. Now, the J21A1, an extremely good plane, amazing frontal armaments. Ah, uh, really good energy fighter, doesn't like the dive though, treat it like a yak, treat it like a uh, bad turning rolling yak, with a lot of guns, so yeah, so anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching the video, if you st stuck around to this time of the video, thank you so much, please consider subscribing, uh, it will, it helps a lot.